I chose to study abroad because the question was kind of why not for me. I grew up in a small town and I always knew that I wanted to travel. Just the fact that like inner city kids, we usually aren't uh, introduced to things like that early on. It was always something I kind of like dreamed of. I had done a program in high school and it gave me kind of the bug to, to see the world. Besides just looking at pictures and videos, you know, I actually wanted to be out there and I didn't think I would have time to actually do that after I graduate. So I just said, let me get the most experience that I can get now. And it's a good opportunity to do it in college because you don't have a lot of other uh, obligations at the moment. When I came here to Michigan, even at my freshman orientation, it was made to sound like anybody could study abroad, and that was really eye-opening for me. I did choose to do a winter semester rather than a six-week program or a short program because I really wanted to invest myself within that community and find myself in the process and just explore. The world is very big. You don't realize all the different types of people that there are until you're in that sort of very international school. And when I heard that Michigan has a ton of study abroad opportunities, that I had friends that had studied abroad and it changed their lives. I thought, why not me? Hi, my name is Swati. I did the GIEU Kenya Study Abroad program. I majored in Spanish and International Studies and I just graduated. I decided to study abroad because I'd always wanted to. I'd always loved traveling and been passionate about it. And I think it's a really great way to learn about yourself and learn about others. I thought it would be a great way to expand my college career. I loved my host family. I thought it was a great way to get to learn about the culture because our host family made sure that we spoke in Swahili and made sure that we cooked with them, dined with them, cleaned up after our meals. I think I definitely had my share of cultural experiences thanks to my host family. Well, I was really interested in the GIEU Kenya project because of its focus on water sanitation and community health. And since I'm going to be studying public health, I found the program to really expose me to what public health even meant, especially in international study. I'm going to be in the International Health Department at Johns Hopkins, so I would say that my study abroad program directly impacted my graduate studies. My name is Swati, and I am study abroad. I'm Sam Whaley, and I'm studying international studies and romance languages. I'm a senior, and I studied first after my freshman year in Salamanca, Spain for six weeks, then after my sophomore year in Grenoble, France for another six weeks, and I just got back from Buenos Aires, Argentina for five months. After my program in Spain and realizing if I'm the one out of my comfort zone, I can get who they are and what they do. I realized I wanted to be abroad as much as I could and decided that I wanted to do public health because to me that gave me more of the opportunity to be in a community and either teach or do research, but either way being in a small town somewhere, speaking Spanish or French or English, developing long-term relationships with them. So now I'm studying global health, the intention of going to a school of public health and spending my time working for an NGO or a nonprofit abroad. I, I for sure want to spend my life abroad. My name is Sam and I am study abroad. Hola, my name is Kari Thorpe. I'm a senior at the University of Michigan and my major is international studies. I went to Granada, Spain for the course Spanish 230. My favorite memory abroad, a couple of peers of mine, we went to Morocco, Africa. That was really awesome because it was an entirely different content. We did things that, you know, I never imagined. We rode camels. It was just something that I never thought we would do and we did it. After I graduate from undergrad, I would like to work in higher ed. And I also have a hunger for learning languages. And with my parents in Spain, they taught me Spanish so well that the fear of learning other languages that I've started practicing like Mandarin, it's not there anymore just because of the uh, confidence that my family gave me in Spain. Me llamo Kari y soy study abroad. Vamos Azul or in English, my name is Kari and I am study abroad, go blue. My name is Amelia Rains. I'm in a master's program in the School of Information studying library science and archives. And I did my bachelor's degree in linguistics at the University of Michigan. And I studied African studies and French language in Dakar, Senegal. A lot of my favorite memories are just of wandering around the city, exploring the city, meeting people all over the city in Dakar. I decided to study libraries and archives because I want to work in a library or archives that is working to revitalize endangered languages. Wolof is, it's not taught in schools at all. It has no official government support. Everything official happens in French. And seeing just how much people love the Wolof language, it's so much fun. And yet it gets no official support. I think everyone should have the ability to do whatever they want in their native language. As a native English speaker, I don't really have any trouble with that in my daily life. There are people all over the world that do. And if there's something that I can do to make it easier for them to you know, have the right to speak their language and write in their language, then I want to do that. My name is Amelia, and I am study abroad. 
My name is Hanan Yahya. I'm a senior studying social theory and practice, concentrating in urban studies. I participated in the study abroad program to the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. The memory that continues to remind me of my like beautiful memory of being there would be the people, the kindness of the people. Just very friendly, very open, and being not only American, but also, you know, obviously with my accent, that was that was something that was obvious. But also the way I look, the way I dress, that was very foreign to them as well. It would always be like very friendly, very open, very helpful, and they really formed that community for me to, to love and appreciate. Community-wise, I was challenged, but I, I appreciate that part. Going into the program, I was pre-law, and after one trip, I tapped on my like creative side with my photography, and so I decided that I will drop my international studies major, I will turn that into a minor, but also pick up an entrepreneurship minor. Then I thought about grad school, and I thought what would be the best program. And on the way back on the plane, I had met someone from Boston University, and then she introduced me to the master's in management program at Ross, as well as urban planning. Those are my two grad school options right now. And I'm again, I appreciate it, because without that, maybe I would have pursued a profession that wouldn't have appealed to my real and genuine interests. My name is Hanan, and I am Study Abroad. My name is Adelia Davis. I'm a junior studying neuroscience. I went on a global course connections program to Pretoria, South Africa in the spring of 2014. Around the time that I found out about the South Africa program was when Nelson Mandela died. I realized that I didn't know much about history other than European history or, you know, North America's history. I didn't know much about minorities history, especially my own as a black woman. So that's why I applied for that particular program to learn more about the health and population of South Africa. One of my best memories, the National Election Day. We went to different polling sites to represent kind of the different populations within South Africa. And then the last township that we visited was actually my favorite because the way that the people who lived there invited me in and treated me like family was so welcoming and so warming. It's something that I will always remember, not just seeing it, but actually feeling the love that I experienced there. Studying abroad in a place that is not quote unquote a traditional study abroad location gave me a greater passion to want to explore the world and explore other cultures that are not appreciated through Western media and Western culture. I want to go into psychiatry and I want to help underrepresented people explore their potential and explore themselves and to really take pride in who they are. So I no longer just want to practice in the United States, but hopefully be able to take these ideas of self-confidence, self-exploration, and purpose around the world. A new goal I have for my life is to visit every country in Africa before I die. In planning what medical school I want to go to, I'm being more careful at looking at what the environment is like there because I want to be somewhere that aligns with my values of global exploration and social justice for all people. My name is Adelia and I am Study Abroad. This totally changed my view on life. It's, it's that people aren't really that different. It just made me realize how big the world is and sort of how many options that I have. I don't have to follow one path. Because my major is X, I don't have to do Y and Z. Even though we all come from these different cultures, at the end, we, I think we all kind of value the same things. It was really challenging and I learned so much walking away. I began to reevaluate myself, my faith, my values, my career, everything. And so that's what I wanted the semester to look like. There's a really great quote that says life begins at the edge of your comfort zone. But if you aren't challenged every day, you're not growing every day. I just really pushed myself and that made it more memorable because I grew in a place that I would never think I would. There's just so much going on and so many things to learn. No regrets. I, I appreciated every moment of that and I can take that with me for life.